Hi there. Today I will go over some important aspects of the 10 gigabit internet that you should be aware of before signing up for your home network. Just a few years after the mainstream adoption of 1 gigabit internet, 10 gigabit broadband internet is already gaining traction in select communities worldwide. Providers like Xfinity, Mediacom, Armstrong and Google Fiber are already offering this ultra-fast service to their selected customers. Before jumping onto the 10 gigabit broadband internet bandwagon, it's essential to be aware of your requirements and potential bottlenecks. First, find out if the service is symmetric or asymmetric, then ensure that your device's cables and router have high enough capacity. An often overlooked aspect of broadband internet is whether the service is symmetric or asymmetric, with equal or unequal upload and download speeds. Some cable or hybrid fiber coaxial HFC services tend to be notoriously asymmetric with significantly lower upload speeds. For instance, one provider offers 1 gigabit internet with a mere 35 megabits per second upload speed. If you find yourself regularly uploading large files like videos, subscribing to a 10 gigabit internet service with a mere 100 megabit per second upload speed would be pointless. In this case, Opting for a 1 gigabit or even a 500 megabit symmetric service would be a more suitable choice. To utilize a 10 gigabit service effectively, you'll need a compatible router, whether wireless or wireline. A wireless router should have at least Wi-Fi 6 capable of up to 9.6 gigabit per second. A wireline router should be 10 gigabit Ethernet compliant. Dual-purpose routers such as those from TP-Link are Wi-Fi 6 capable and are also equipped with 10 gigabit Ethernet ports. Cables must also support 10 gigabit speeds with considerations like using Category 6 for twisted copper or fiber optic cables. Devices including computers and mobiles should either be 10 gigabit capable or have sufficient speed to make subscribing to a 10 gigabit internet service worthwhile. If you're using a cable to connect to your computer, make sure your Wireline Network Interface Card NIC, supports 10 gigabits. Alternatively, you might consider purchasing an add-on Wireline NIC that is 10 gigabit capable. For computers lacking a Wireline NIC, you could explore the option of using a compatible adapter such as a Thunderbolt 3 to 10 gigabit Ethernet adapter. It's worth noting that mobile devices such as iPhones currently have a maximum Wi-Fi capacity of 866 megabits per second as of February 2024, so they won't operate at the full 10 gigabit speed. When signing up for 10 gigabit internet service, keep in mind that all devices in your household will share the same internet service. That means that not all devices have to operate at 10 gigabit per second, but operate at high enough speed to make a 10 gigabit internet service worthwhile and for your overall experience to be enhanced. In conclusion, while 10 gigabit broadband internet might be available at your location, ensure you have the necessary equipment and requirements in place before considering signing up for the service. For more on 10 gigabit internet broadband, read our blog article. If you are interested in communications, especially optical networking, consider signing up for our optical network training programs from Optical Technology Training, OTT. Subscribe to the channel to be notified when there is a new video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.